Uh, hey guys, um, this is just, this isn't really a topic, but it's more like, uh, getting to people, getting into their heads to not do self-harm. But, most people do it because stuff's happened in their lives, and, like, there's some people who have it bad, and there's some people who have it very bad, and there's some people that have it have one bad thing and they automatically turn to self-harm then they do it for attention on the internet or something and I already I already covered that in a, in a past video but I'll probably cover it in like a future video or something like that but what I'm trying to say here is life's hard you can't keep cutting yourself over well, life's hard not just for you it's hard for everyone and everyone has their own different story, and that story is not meant to be put on, on freaking social media. If you really start cutting and you really start hurting yourself, or you have suicide options, or thoughts, don't post it on the internet. Go to a therapist. The internet's not going to help you. They're probably just going to tell you to do the same thing. Go to a freaking therapist. But what I'm trying to say here, and excuse me for my language, life's hard. Get the fuck over it. Seriously. Like, I'm sick of seeing all this shit. Life's hard. People have it bad. Some people have it worse. Life's, life's different for every single other person. It's not just bad for you because you think that the reward... Some people just think the world revolves around them. And if their life is bad, then everyone has to know about it. Everyone. If you really want to get help for it, ask your parents. Ask a teacher. Ask a freaking, like, therapist. Don't go on the internet and go search up stuff. How to cut yourself but not kill yourself. How to tie a noose and then post it on social media like you're going to do it. Because we all know you're really not going to do it. You're just posting it on there so people get worried about you and, you. and you think that no one cares about you. Even though there are so many people in this damn world. That if you would go up to some random person at school. And you never really even talked to them. And you said, would you care if I killed myself? Most likely they would obviously say yes. Because no one wants to see that on the morning announcements of some fucking school that um this boy this girl killed themselves because they thought that no one cared that that person's obviously going to feel bad because they because you went up to M and said would you care and they said yes and you didn't care you just wanted to do it like to see but like people think that no one cares. I mean, you could not know anyone at school, but they like you would still care about them if they wanted to if they wanted to kill themselves. Like if someone wanted to do something about that, like if you knew that they were a harm or like violence to themselves and you really cared about them, you would obviously tell a teacher. It doesn't matter if they're mad at you. You're saving them from what you're saving them from themselves. So if you see anyone at your school, anyone at all, go, and, and if you see, like, maybe something on their wrist or something like that, go and tell a teacher. Go, go, and, go, go and, like, to the guidance counselor or something. Don't keep it quiet, because you're gonna save them from themselves. There's, there's people at my school that do it, and they, they, they've already talked to teachers about it. They don't post it on social media. But there are some girls at my school, and believe me when I say this, they do post that shit on freaking, like, Snapchat and Instagram and shit. And it makes me mad every time I see it, because they said, no one cares. No one, no one loves me. You got your family, your family, and, and, like, if you have a fight with your mom or something, they automatically think that your family doesn't care about you. Your, your, your parents are the number one priority. You gotta cherish them as long as they're here because you might not have they, they they could die tomorrow. They could die in twenty years. You never know how much you're gonna have them. But you always cherish that because you never know when they're gonna leave. You never know when they're gonna be gone or how long they're gonna stay. Your grandparents as well because I see. I'm not gonna get into that. But this whole video has been me talking about this. Like I said, if you have anyone, if you see anyone with scars on their wrist or something, and, and they look new, tell a teacher, please, because I'm, I'm sick of seeing this stuff. And, like, I don't care if they have scars, like, and then they got help. That's good. 
but if they're doing it new and no one tells people and like I see it on social media and they're posting it on like life sucks I'm just gonna start cutting like like I said at the beginning of the video life sucks life's hard you're gonna have more bad days than you're gonna have good days but this, you gotta learn from those bad days not to do it again learn from your mistakes learn from what you've done if you cut a before and you've learned not to do it that's good but if you never but if you keep doing it then you obviously need help and you need help from saving from yourself because you're obviously making matters worse for yourself this is going to be a long video I'm probably gonna try to go a little bit more but like people say about um, how their life is the worst of all people lose their parents in the same day and they and their grandparents won't take them in maybe and they have to go to a foster family and they don't cut and you get in a fight with your mom over like makeup or some shit or like over an xbox and then you automatically switch to cutting yourself that obviously shows that you need to grow the fuck up and stop being a little baby bitch because there's obviously a lot more people in this world that have it a lot more harder than you and you know that but you just want but some people just want attention and people like you could think you have the worst life ever for a minute or two and then you'll realize that there's people that like domestic violence and they and they still don't get like help like they're maybe their mother or their dad their their mother's on like pills or something and their dad drinks and their dad hits them and um the police and no one knows about it and like you know how hard that is for them but guess what majority of those people that are in that group of people don't cut themselves so whenever you think about cutting yourself and th th think about other people seriously because if you do it then that just means that because if you do it and you think that no one cares I guarantee if you went on social media and you put would you care if I killed myself you'll get a lot more attention than you want and that's what you want that's what most people want they want to do it for attention but no, most people just want to do it to see because they're confused if you do it you're gonna get a lot more attention than you than you are seeking and you'll trust me you will regret every time that you cut yourself if you realize how many people actually cared about you and if you actually bled out where you actually hung yourself, where you put a bullet through your head, and you realize how many people actually cared about you. Think about it. Alright, um, this is a big video. This is a very sensitive topic. Not really sensitive, it's just a stupid topic, to be honest with you. But, yeah, if you have any comments, put it in the comments below. Share it with your friends. Give me a shout-out if you have a in channel, but... Yeah, go check out Joshua's Empire TV and Noah HD, and I'll talk to you guys later.